One thing I absolutely love is teaching all of the different subjects that are related to botanical medicine. Now, out of those hundreds of courses I have created over the last 30 years, if you were to ask me which one is the most important for people just to just want to learn about herbalism, I would tell you without a doubt it is the introduction to herbalism for professionals, or HMP, herbal medicine for professionals as we call it. Let me just give you a quick example of the breadth and the scope of the HMP course in the form of a quick herb walk right now. This is feverfew or Tanacetum parthenium that I love to grow in my garden because it's like the canary in the coal mine and tells me how my soil health is based upon how the leaves are doing. Now I extract this multifractionally, water and alcohol, and I need heat in there too to be able to get the phenols, to be able to get the parthenolide, but also to get the tannins out. Herpes family, viruses, inflammation, headaches, contraindicated in pregnancy. This is an amazing plant for a wide variety of both internal and external use. Here we have a really healthy mallow plant or a malva species that's related very closely in medicinal properties to the marshmallow or Althea officinalis. Now this is one we have to use water with really to get these heteropolysaccharides. So cold water infusions, decoctions, and then we're gonna have to deal with the precipitation as well when we do use our alcohol to preserve it. It is a mucosal vulnerary all around the body, so respiratory tract, digestive tract, urinary tract, and skin inside and outside the body. This is an amazing restorative mucosal vulnerary that's very important. Broadleaf plantain, or really any of the plantago species, they're all medicinally analogous, is one of the best known herbs probably in the Western Hemisphere. Now this makes a difference really as to whether you extract it fresh or dried. I prefer fresh, but you can also mix the two. We get a mucosal vulnerary effect again on the urinary and respiratory and digestive tract and the conjunctiva and it's also anti-infective and contains bicolin is a biofilm buster so we get a mix of different uses depending on how we extract it okay and i just spent about 30 seconds with each one of those amazing medicinal plants just to give you some idea of breadth and scope of information that we need as we cover materia medica gardening wild crafting medicine making medicine administration and toxicity and dosage body systems and how we work with them uh, different types of illness whether chronic or acute post-disaster and, and and austere medicine all of those are areas that we cover in this 12-week online course. It's packed with information, packed with lectures, packed with handouts, and we throw in, in addition to that, we throw in our introduction to herbalism for beginners. That's a six-week online course. Uh, if you're motivated, you can blast through it in a couple of weeks. You can just take it at the same time as the professionals. You can use it as a reference. We also send a package straight to your door uh, that has all the herbs, about about 20 different herbs, and, you know, that are categorized for different medicine making projects we do together, um, percolation cone, um, filters and cheesecloth and other materials that you're going to need to be able to make a uh, multifractional extract, a percolation, alcohol percolation tinctures, and, uh, and an oil, an infused oil. This is an amazing course to get certification in. This also gives you the prerequisite for our more advanced programs, our clinical herbalism program, our family herbalism program, our advanced, uh, our, our austere, uh, advanced austere medicine program. Join us, it's starting up soon, classes filling up, and I hope to see you there.